budding artists and designers, here's your chance to have your portfolio of creative work reviewed by nationally accredited schools of art and design. At Kendall College of Art and Design is going to be hosting West Michigan National Portfolio Day. It's happening October 22nd from 1 to 5. And to make the most of the event, attendees are urged to bring up to 10 to 15 pieces and discuss their work with as many schools as possible. Pre-registration is highly encouraged. Just visit KCAD, that's K-C-A-D, dot E-D-U for more. And now's the perfect time if you're going to start training for a triathlon. There are plenty of them coming back to West Michigan next year. The Grand Rapids Triathlon, those races take place June 8th and 9th in Ada. And the Michigan Titanium is going to take place on August 11th. Registration for both events has just opened up. Happened yesterday. And you can learn more by going to their individual websites. Ford International Airport is adding another airline. Sun Country Flights will begin operations next summer. The airline will initially offer a route from Grand Rapids to St. Paul International Airport in Minneapolis, where guests can be connected to 98 other destinations. Now, this brings the total number of airlines at the Grand Rapids Airport to seven. And meanwhile, the city of Kentwood is asking for donations to help restock the Little Free Pantry. The pantry is a free community resource that anyone can give to or take from, no questions asked. It operates year-round at the city's activities center and the Kentwood branch of the Kent District Library. Now, the city says they are in immediate need for donations, preferably non-perishable foods and personal care items. And Frightful Friday, returning to Gaslight Village on October 27th. This family-friendly event has a scavenger hunt, treats, refreshments, arts and crafts, plus specials and discounts for you shoppers. It'll take place from 4 to 7 along Wealthy Street Southeast. To help the business district prepare for the event, students from East Grand Rapids High School's art department are decorating the windows of participating businesses for fall and Halloween.